Welcome back to Melamec Art. My name is Mickey and today I'm going to be giving you a tour of my very messy corner here um, in my room. <laughs> so I kind of uh, decided to go ahead and um, create a space for myself in my bedroom because I thought that you know that would just keep me close to my art and that's probably a lazy excuse because I have a whole room downstairs that I could use. But anyway, this is where it is and this is where I've landed. <laughs> so on this side, I have my electronics, um, laptop, um, iPad, and here's a mini that I use for um, doing portraits. I bring up a photo of someone there. I've always got my tea here. This is um, red rose tea. I've heard that they don't use pesticides, so this is the reason why I've been buying this brand. Let me know if I'm wrong or whatever. Um, so over here I have mostly black pens and others that I use. This little cup is random things that I use. These pens are uh, Uniball Vision pens. I love them. They're waterproof. A couple of water cups. Um, this is, um, I don't know if I've ever reviewed these. Probably never have. They're just mini pencils that I get from a brandless, brandless store. Nice to have, they're portable. I have two of them, one to go and one to stay here. This is a little Scottish mug. I love anything to do with Scotland. Um, these are sort of my, mostly supposed to be my tiny brushes, but it's ended up being this random cup. I'm over here. I now have four um, cups. This one's dirty. This one's dirty <laughs> of water. I just picked up this one from the Citadel company from a hobby shop. It's really cool because when you get a teeny tiny little brush, like a zero or something, you can drag it through these little portals and it'll point your brush again. They're really, it's really cool. I bought it just, oopsie. I bought it just for that. And do I do that tiny stuff? Hardly ever. So, um, yeah, I have some porcelain. I only work on porcelain, plastic bugs me. So I have these little things lined up usually. This little plastic thing, it works great so that these don't soak through to my table. I have some of these um, sheets for, I think they're for um, mats for cutting, but they're sticky on one side, so I put them on my desk. And another dish over here, hair dryer to dry my um, paper. These are all um, additives like alcohol and water. Sorry, my voice don't talk this much usually. Um, glycerin um, and um, I think, that, yeah, I do have the gum Arabic. Okay, moving up. I have um, pegboards that I put a lot of stuff on. Um, I should tell you who all these stickers are from. This one up here is from Momo Welch. Um, she's a cartoonist. Um, this one and this little girl over here is from Wooded Woods and she's just sadistic and hilarious and spooky. All of her stuff is funny. It's just, I love it. Um, this is from um, Meow Meow Kapow. She's a wonderful artist. Great um, person. Um, everybody's a great person, <laughs> by the way. This is Iris Compete's Magnet about her Fairies of the Fault Lines. Um, and I also got some more um, cards from her and I did a little challenge of hers to do this in my style so I did it front facing. Another one of hers. Um, those are her buttons and card over there. And then this is my sticker. I've trademarked Interprets Are Awesome because I don't know if you guys know this about me but I have been, I founded a Facebook group in like seven years ago, maybe eight now, and it's become quite successful. So I trademarked the name, Introverts Are Awesome, and I've got about half a million people on it now. It's very busy, um, it's very time consuming, um, but it's just one of those other things that have supported me on my journey after I had a divorce, etc. So I'm gonna take a sip of this tea because I keep talking and my voice is going away. <clears throat> okay, so this is my new setup. 
So I, I like to use mason board and clip stuff to it. So with that in mind, I used to have this small little holder thingy and it would, it was pretty great. It's got a lot of notches. I like that, but it's just too small because these boards would just tip it right over and that used to frustrate me to no end. So I got the bigger one and now I'm already looking at it and thinking I could probably have gotten the bigger one, but this one's really good. It's got a little drawer underneath, which is really nice. It holds all my clips and white gouache, other things like that. And it doesn't have as many notches, but it, it works just, just as well. And it actually will hold this board, oopsie, that's another painting, really well. So I like that. And I can keep my paints right here and work from here. My right handed, so all my stuff is over here. And I just paint and I bring these lights over. I can't do it right now because I get too much interference. So anyway, um, what I used to work on is um, this old slant board that I was given. Um, it was, I was given it <laughs> um, by someone who made it um, back when I was like 18 years old and just starting out. And um, it just wasn't enough of a rise for me. I even put this board here just to see if I could get a little bit more um, rise out of my uh, um, work surface. So this was actually the answer. So usually I put a little, uh, a little cup underneath the front and lift this like this so I can pull it toward me just a little bit because there's a gap there. So I could take this board away, but then I couldn't put my laptop on there. And I just kind of like the extra extended desk. So there's all that. Um, this is literally my junk drawer. Right here is all my paper and I got tons of it in there. The ones that I like to cut down, all my pads, are in my uh, my shelf over here. So my remote is for the TV that I've got up here. And I've got the Hulk holding all of my brushes. And this is my grandmother that passed. Those are her brushes. Well, a lot of these brushes are hers. So this is where I keep all my tubes and other knickknacks. These are some of the new ones I bought. So I'm just gonna check review those in a little bit. But these are all my paints that I have and um, some of these containers are empty, I'm just waiting for use. And um, paper and inspiring books and more junk. <laughs> just a tin I use, I work out of a lot. Cute, um, toothpicks, which are great for stirring your paints. Little boozy things, because I want to just um, drink those up someday because I'm not a drinker, but I love those little bottles and I want to use that as a dirty and that as a clean. <laughs> That's why I drink alcohol, just to get, use them for art afterward. Um, so yeah, so this is my space. I'll back up a little. Got a little stool underneath to put my feet on. I sit on a regular office chair that I got for a major steel. I'll push it forward. So it's green, it's nice and padded, but it's slippery. So I keep a towel on it because I'll slip right off of it. So there it is, there's my corner. This is um, Margot Guerra. She has earth mineral arts. So she's a handmade paint artist, um, maker. And um, I love her stuff. And that chart comes with an order. So I just love having the chart up for, because it's beautiful. So there's everything is. I'm sorry it's so messy, but this is really pretty much how I work. <laughs> so, well, I hope you enjoyed this uh, crazy uh, view of my really messy corner. Oh, these are some things I'll be reviewing soon. So yay, got stuff, stuff happening on the horizon. Well, thanks for joining me. We'll see you again in the next one. Take care of yourselves.